Today's episode is dedicated to all the remarkable women driving innovation in the technology industry. As I'm filming this, it is International Women's Day, and I'd like to recognize Cindy Zhao, our lead hardware design engineer. Cindy is part of the innovative team who designed our Goldilocks demonstration platform. But what exactly is the Goldilocks demonstration platform about? Stay with me to find out. Hi, welcome back to Tech Ventures. My name is Lazina and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Future Electronics. If you'd like to check out any previous episodes, then please feel free to click the link on the screen or check out the description box below. I'm going to show you how to get started with the Goldilocks demonstration platform. If you'd like more information about the board itself, then please feel free to check out our walkthrough video, which can be found in the description box as well. What we'll need today is, of course, the Goldilocks demonstration kit, an HDMI display screen of some sort. I will be using this portable monitor. In the box, we have the mama bear, the baby bear, the honey pot board, and an AC to USB adapter. The mama bear and honey pot board go together and connect through the 40 pin interface over here. The mama bear is a single board computer and has a processor running Linux. Much like a Raspberry Pi board, you'll need an HDMI display to see the output. I have a portable monitor, but feel free to use your display monitor. Connect the HDMI cable to this port over here on the Mama Bear, and I'm going to connect the other end um, to my monitor. Next, power on the Mama Bear board through the USB Type-C interface found over here, and connect the other end of the wire to the provided power supply. Upon power up, you should be greeted with a window like so. This is great, but if you look closer on the screen, there are no numbers. We have some configuring to do. There's a serial debug console that can be used to connect to the board. To access the serial port, we will need to make a USB connection from this port over here to our laptop. Open up TerraTerm. The COM port should have enumerated Select the appropriate one. First things first, select Setup to configure the baud rate settings as shown on the screen. And now we've got access to the Linux command line. We've finished setting up the Mama Bear and Honey Pot board for now. We're going to come back to this window, so please don't close it. Let's turn our attention to the Baby Bear board. See the little switch over here? Slide it to the left side to power on the board. <laughs> wow, that's bright. You can't miss that green LED blinking. It'll blink briefly and will turn off. Next, we need to pair the baby bear board with the mama bear board. Let's turn our attention back to the serial terminal emulator program. Back in the console, press enter to get to the command prompt. Log in with root, there's no password, and type the following commands shown on the screen one at a time. This command takes some time to execute. This command is case sensitive, so please make sure you type in the command using the lowercase letter b. Enter the command scan on. We need to find our baby bear board's MAC address so that we can pair it with the Mama Bear board over BLE. And there it is. Take a note of the address. It's a lot easier to copy paste the MAC address from our terminal program into a text editor program like Notepad++. Type in the command scan off as we have everything we need and type exit to exit out of the Bluetooth controller portion. And now we're back to the root level. To pair Mama Bear with Baby Bear over BLE, type the following command as shown on the screen. Make sure you're using the MAC address for your Baby Bear board. Your Mama Bear will always pair automatically with the same Baby Bear board upon power up. Next, type reboot to save the settings.
certain Raspberry Pi style cameras can be added to the Goldilocks demonstration platform to extend the demo functionality. All we need is a Digilent PCAM 5C camera. Power off the board first, and it is a lot easier if you remove the Honeypot adapter, slide the MIPI interface lock, and uh, take the cable with the blue side facing towards um, the USB port over here, and then slide it into this interface and uh, make sure that the connection is made to the uh, PCAM 5C camera. And now we can reconnect the power cables. And et voila, you should see the camera feed on the GUI. The graphical Mama Bear demo app displays distance reading using UWB between the attached honeypot and the baby bear boards. Sensor readings from the baby bear board, including temperature, humidity, VOC and IMU sensors on baby bear. Live feed from an attached camera module. Other things that can be done from the Linux console, um, there's sound recording via the onboard microphone array, music playback via a Bluetooth wireless connection or by direct speaker connection to the analog outputs on Mama Bear. You could browse the internet using the integrated web browser via wireless internet connection and also, an AI demo experience through which we can do object detection, facial recognition, and many more examples. Well, that was pretty easy. Now you know how to get started with the Goldilocks demonstration platform. This is only an overview of the many functionalities and capabilities. If you'd like more information, please feel free to reach out to your local Future Electronics representative or visit us online at futureelectronics.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time on Tech Ventures with Luzina.